Welcome back to my channel guys. When I was in Europe a few months back, I made a video on lingo that you'll commonly find on apps like Grindr in France. So basically phrases that locals will use that aren't necessarily intuitive if you're not a local. And that video performed very well. So I thought, why don't I do this for just general Grindr use or at least in English speaking places. I came up with a list. This is my list of 10 commonly used phrases, acronyms, and emojis that you'll find on Grindr and what they mean. So number one, NPNC stands for no pick, no chat. As in, if you don't have a profile picture, I will not respond to you. Now, why people don't spell out this acronym in their bio for people who might be new to the app, I don't know, your guess is as good as mine. Another acronym you'll often see is DDF as in disease and drug free. So people will say only looking for DDF or I'm DDF and you need to be as well. Not to be confused with DTF, which is a whole other thing, though, though not mutually exclusive, down to fuck. Another acronym you'll see all the time is BB, which stands for bareback. If you don't know what that means, Urban Dictionary, okay? That one I'll, I'll let you figure out on your own. Gen is an abbreviation that you'll sometimes see, which is shortened for generous, as in pay up. <laughs> they want coinage, or in some cases are willing to offer coinage for a transactional tango, we'll call it. On apps like Grindr, you'll sometimes see guys refer to themselves as a side, meaning they're neither a top nor a bottom, uh, and they're also not looking to go all the way with someone. They're just looking for casual fun, like first, second, maybe third base. Number seven, PNP, stands for party and play. Uh, sometimes guys will even just say party or looking to party in their bio. Now, they don't mean party like, let's play beer pong with my buds. By party, what they mean is mixing, hooking up with drug usage. So if that's not your thing, be very mindful of that and what it represents. It's not necessarily like, you know, light recreational, you know, drug usage like marijuana, let's say, which is legal in a lot of places now in the States, at least. Um, oftentimes my impression from guys seeking this, they're looking to do like hardcore drugs. There's a lot of coded language for meth on apps like Grindr, guys will, purposely use capital letters at random points in their bios. Uh, a capital T stands for Tina. That's a street name for meth. So be very mindful of that if that's not something you wanna be involved in. Speaking of that, the red balloon emoji is also code for that very same thing. Like let's hook up and also experiment with drugs at the same time and, and that kind of thing. Speaking of emojis, a lot of guys will use the arrow emojis available instead of actually mentioning I'm a top, I'm a bottom, I'm verse, they'll use the direction of the arrow emojis to indicate what they're into. Finally, if you see a pig emoji, that means this person is wild. They're down to do a lot of naughty stuff. Hope this was helpful. If I missed any significant ones that you see all the time or that you maybe use on apps like Grindr, let me know in the comments.